It's a day to show honor and appreciation to our veterans, and today Bay Manette showed out in a big way. Bay Manetteans love a good parade. Hundreds lined the streets catching candy and other throws, but today's parade has a bigger purpose. We just want our community to know how much they mean to us. It's, it's such a, uh, a huge deal. It gives us the opportunity to show how much they, they truly mean to us. Gerald Davidson is a World War II veteran. Each year on Veterans Day, he rides in the parade and enjoys catching up with friends and fellow vets. Get a lot of thank yous and a lot of phone calls. We get to see a lot of friends. Last year, the parade rolled on, but COVID-19 limited the number of participants and parade goers. This year, the support has been overwhelming, according to Mayor Bob Wills. We're just thrilled we're in a community like Baymanette where the entire community supports our veterans and comes out. We had a breakfast at the Civic Center this morning, had a good turnout. Tommy Langham served in the Korean War. He left Baldwin County in 1950 and remembers that time like it was yesterday. 138 of us left Baymanette on that day. Today, there's only nine left here for the parade today. After the war, he went on to become Baymanette City Clerk. He says he wears his veteran's cap proudly, and a day never goes by without someone showing their appreciation. Many times when I'm in a restaurant, if I have on this cap, when I get to the register, my meal is taken care of. People are great. In Baymanette, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.